Hello and welcome along, welcome to this first look at the Borgolt DLC. Um, there are a total of eight items in this DLC. Uh, and we've got them all here. Uh, we're going to go through each of them in turn. I'm going to go through all of their options and everything. Uh, and then we're going to go and take a couple of them for a spin. Um, because there's a couple of bits in this which are absolutely huge. And that is actually the thing about this DLC. Everything about this is just completely ginormous. Absolutely epically big. Uh, you do not want to be using this map, uh, sorry, using this DLC on a map, um, a small map at all. You need a lot of space. I mean, look at the size. We're going to have a look at this cedar a bit in detail later, but look at the size of that. This is, these are the largest pieces of equipment that have ever been released in Farming Simulator. Uh, they are just epically huge and dwarf pretty much everything else that's available in the game. So we are going to start with uh, what a lot of people got very, very excited about uh, in this DLC. And that is this John Deere 9RX. If we have a look in the shop, uh, you of course will find this under large tractors. Uh, and uh, there she is, the uh, John Deere 9RX. It is two, uh, sorry, 480, uh, 428,500 dollars. Uh, base uh, horsepower of 517. Uh, it has 1,514 liter tank. It has a maximum speed of 24 miles an hour. And if we go and have a look into it, we do have a couple of customization options in here. Uh, now, one thing that you will immediately notice, uh, and uh, this isn't completely unexpected, is that this is the European spec version of the uh, 9RX. So there are no American spec options on this. Um, you've got the engine setups. Uh, you've got four different engine setups. You've got the uh, 9470RX, uh, the 9520, uh, the 9570, and the 9620. Um, and it goes from 517 horsepower up to 670 horsepower. So a lot of power in this tractor. Really, really nice, powerful tractor, this one. Um, and then the wheel setup, we've got standard. And then we've got the three meters as well, which gives you that extra little bit of, of chunkiness to it. Now, one of the nice things about this mod very much, as you can see, is that it has 3D model tracks again. These we've, We started seeing these come in with the uh, Class uh, Platinum Edition. And, uh, and yeah, they, it's just absolutely gorgeous model on this. Really, really love the look of this 9RX. Absolutely beautiful tractor. Um, if you go up to the maximum spec for it, so an extra 76,500 for the uh, biggest engine, an extra 5,000 for the three meter tracks, uh, you are adding 81,500 to your initial price of 428,500, taking you up to a whopping 510,000. For the full spec of this. So half a million uh, to, to get the maximum spec on this. But absolutely gorgeous tractor that you get for it. Next up we have the Borgolt FMS CD872-8. This is a cedar. Uh, and if we go and have a look at the shop for this one as well. Uh, so unsurprisingly again. Uh, find a cedar under cedars. Uh, and it is, this is actually the smallest cedar available. Uh, actually, let's look at this uh, stats here. So 240 horsepower. So if you're looking for a part of this DLC that you could use on smaller maps, uh, this is probably your piece of kit. Uh, 240 horsepower, 7,200 litre uh, seed tank, or, or uh, capacity on it, sorry. Uh, eight metre uh, uh, working width, 11 mile an hour working speed. Uh, goes with the Agco uh, 560, uh, sorry, 650. That, I believe, is a weight. So, uh, yeah, I have the weight, that weight on the front of the tractor. Um, it takes both seeds and fertilizer and will seed wheat, barley, oats, uh, canola, soybeans, oilseed radish, and grass. And if we go and have a look at it, it has no um, 
Uh, no customization options at all. Again, really, really gorgeous looking model. This uh, so well detailed, uh, and it's I think it's got a, it's certainly got a boom on it. I'm wondering if uh, unfolding that will have an effect, but certainly I think on uh, there are several maps that this might be quite a nice piece of kit to use. Uh, it is um, a total price of eight. Uh, 182,500 for this. Yeah, really nice piece of kit. A bit expensive for an 8 meter cedar, but a very large capacity on it. Uh, liking the look of that. Absolutely. Next up, we have the Borg Holt uh, XR770 Harrow. This is a weeder. Uh, so we will find it again under the weeders category. And uh, at the end here, and you can see the difference actually immediately here. This has a base price of 56,000. So only 15,000 more. Uh, 60, no, no, in fact, only 11,000 more than the, uh, the, the Trofa. But this has a 21 meter. That has a 15 meter. So it's a massive upgrade. Uh, 350 horsepower for a weeder as well is huge. Um, and, uh, and yeah, 21.3 meter. And if you look at this, it's standard size is uh, is pretty big. 21.3 meters. Uh, 350 horsepower, as I said. The design is the optional. And upping the design adds more length on it. 27 meters. 27.4 meters on this. 4,500 adding to take it to the uh, XR77 uh Sorry, 770 and 90, uh, taking your 56,000 base price up to 60,500. And look at the size of this. We're going to have a look at this in a bit more in depth in a bit uh, and take this for a spin. But that is just a massive, massive weeder. Next up is the Borgholt SPS 360-50. This is a cultivator. Uh, and uh, is uh, available for 189,500. Uh, it requires 480 horsepower to run, uh, has a 12 meter working width uh, and a nine uh, mile per hour working speed. Uh, we open it up and uh, and you can see this is a pretty chunky cultivator. Now, interesting thing I note on this is it has a tow hitch at the back and the ability it looks to um, connect more stuff onto it. So uh, interesting to see a, uh, a use for this cultivator, uh, where you uh, where you hitch it up to a non-direct uh, cedar at the back. I think that would be a really good use for this uh, if you get the right tractor on the front of it. Um, no optional uh, uh, configuration at all. So the hundred eighty nine thousand five hundred starting price is the only price for it, uh, but a nice little a uh, nice big cultivator this uh 12 meters 480 horsepower yeah that is that is good so uh yeah there you go that is the cultivator that's in the pack next up we're getting into the big cedars so this is our first uh combination of a cedar and or drill and air cart uh this is the uh 3320-76 Paralink Ho Drill, uh, which pairs with the 7950 air cart. Uh, both um, pretty nice pieces of kit, this. Uh, we look under the drills, the cedars for the drill. Uh, so that is this one here, the uh, the Ho Drill. Uh, 273,500 base price. 500 horsepower uh, requirement for it. And this, I remind you, this is the smaller of the two big aircraft cart drills. Um, it's got a 23.2 meter working width. And we compare this to some of the other ones. That is only, and this is the small, again, this is the smaller one. Two meters less than the biggest Cedar in game, the Sea Talk XL. So that is just absolutely massive, that drill. Um, it pairs, as I said, it pairs with the uh, 7950 air cart. 
Um, it will seed wheat, barley, oats, canola, soybeans, uh, oilseed radish and grass. Uh, has 11 mile hour working speed. Uh, yeah, absolutely gorgeous this. No configuration options. Uh, looks wonderful though. I, I love the look of this piece of kit. Um, and so the uh, 273,500 uh asking price that is what you will pay for this uh that pairs with this 7950 air cart uh that has a capacity of 33,475 liters um and uh and takes both seeds and uh fertilizer solid fertilizer uh now it does have some configuration this air cart uh you've got both the standard and the rear twin wheels and the full twin wheels set up for it um the full twin wheels will add 9200 onto the price so the maximum you will pay for this piece of kit is 281200 and that is a meaty looking air cart that really is that is very, very nice. However, those two are utterly dwarfed by this combination. This is the Burgholt 3420-100 uh, Powerlink Ho Drill. Um, it is paired with the 71300 Air Cart. And these are huge. These are absolutely massive. This is now the biggest seeder in the game, this combination. And while, as I said before, the uh, the seed hawk has a width of 25.6 meters, this, this has a massive 30 meter width on it. It is five meters wider than the previous biggest uh, piece of kit, uh, biggest piece drill in game it is absolutely huge requires 600 horsepower for this drill um it goes at 11 mile an hour working speed uh is paired with the air cart which we will cover in a moment uh this will drill wheat barley oats canola soybeans oilseed radish and grass and is uh as yeah as amazing width on this and we will go and take again we're going to go and take this for a spin in a minute just to show you this working but it is just look at the size of this thing and so much detail in this i mean you you, you get close to it and it just absolutely a gorgeous looking piece of a kit kit this so uh yeah this pairs of course as mentioned before with the 71 uh 300 air cart uh that is 331,500 takes a whopping 45,000 liters 45,810 liters to be exact of seed and uh, solid fertilizer it is huge this i think i filled this up so we're gonna as i said we're gonna take this for a spin in a minute i filled this up and it cost as much as well several pieces of medium equipment as a small tractor actually i think we spent a hundred thousand filling this thing this is absolutely huge this tank um and is just such a wonderful pairing for that drill um it doesn't have any configuration options on it uh it is 331,500 all in and uh from what i can see worth every penny of it so there we go that is a quick overview of all the equipment that's available in this dlc we're going to tab across now quickly to this piece over here now this here this is the full sized version of the xr 790 uh, harrow it is massive and just to give you an idea of of how massive it is i wanted to uh, to do just a bit of weeding now this is the 9rx we got on the front of this i'm using the r9rx on all of this and you can see the massive swath of weeds this is taking out if you if you're doing weeding on uh, and you've got a big farm like this, uh, and we are on Ravensport, this is field 12 on Ravensport, which isn't even the biggest field uh, by a long way, and it's and it's just doing. I think we could probably get this field done in maybe four or five passes with this piece of kit. It is just absolutely huge, 
And if we go inside, we can, in cab, we can have a look at a little bit of the in cab of the 9RX. But you can get a feel for just how wide this piece of kit is. It is just utterly massive. And you can see why it is well, it's the biggest weeder in game and requires the most horsepower of any weeder in game. Because it is just cutting this massive swath of weeds out. And uh, yeah, if you're, if you're doing big farming, absolutely perfect piece of kit to do uh, with this kind of thing. Absolutely gorgeous. And when we look at the inside of this 9RX, this 9RX has so much detail to it. It's ridiculous. It is just utterly, utterly gorgeous. Up to the normal high standards that we get from Giants. Uh, with their models, because these, of course, are based on the uh, on the official uh, CAD uh, 3D models from the manufacturers themselves, so that you don't get much more accurate than that with these. Uh, and that is, consequently, that is why we don't tend to get the American versions, um, because that kind of that information comes from the European uh, parts of these companies. And uh, but you just, I think we're just having a look at. The detail on this is just ugly. And here's those uh, 3D tracks I was mentioning before. Absolutely gorgeous. Amazing, amazing piece of work. And uh, this is the other thing I love about uh, FS19 is all these transparent grills we get now. Such detail all over the place. Absolutely brilliant. Um, we'll just go come across to here because I want to show you this thing as well. So this is folded up at the moment. This is the big uh, 40, uh, 3420 power link hoe drill. If we unfold this to give you an idea. And we got the 3 meter tread version of the uh, R John Deere 9 RX. And I actually I prefer this. This just looks like such a meteor tractor compared to the, uh, the other version of it. And you can see the size of this drill now. Just an absolutely whopping drill. And we're, I'm not too worried about being up at the field's edge. But we're going to turn it on, drop it down. Hopefully. We're not drops down yet. Drop it down and away we go. And look at that. That is just humongous. And as I said, this the grain cart, the, the cart on the air, back of this, the air cart is just incredible the size of it really really is and you just look at that go I mean this will just this is field eight this is the biggest field on the map and I can see this completing this field in not a huge amount of goes uh it I, I think you'd, you'd get this done in about 10 to 15 uh, rows which is just nothing. Uh, for this field on this map, it absolutely isn't. I think I think if you are if you are going if you are running a map like Stone Valley or something like that, this absolutely is the kind of kit you want to have on there. It is humongous, and it will it will get the job done on that kind of map. Absolutely brilliant. So if you're into your big American maps or your big European maps, highly recommend this DLC. I think this this will be perfect if you're running that type of farm. If you're running smaller stuff, I think uh, this DLC may not be quite so useful. I don't think it's it's totally uh, un uh, totally not useful if you're running a smaller map. Uh, for example, I could see using the smallest cedar. I, I could see us using that on Charwell. That would work well on that map. I think you go any smaller than that though, uh, and uh, and this DLC probably isn't for you. This is a, this is a massive massive equipment DLC, but. I am going to leave this here because uh, I love this DLC. Uh, it is great. We are going to be using it on Stone Valley. Uh, but I will leave this here. Uh, if you want to order this DLC, there is a link in the description below. Uh, please go visit that and help support the channel. Uh, for now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this first look. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.